Like, fuck you, you criminal. I mean, you think the Fertitas just pull all the money out of their fucking bank and pay everybody? You out of your fucking minds? I mean, yes, we're trying to get a fucking deal in the UK. You're fucking the fans in the UK. Fuck you. It's not okay. The iPad came out like 24 fucking months ago. You're one fight away from not being in the UFC. What the fuck are you dancing about? Going right now to Greg Jackson. Uh, Greg, thank you so much uh, for this. Uh, un unfortunately, you are at the end of a diatribe right now where UFC President Dana White has called you, quote, a fucking sports killer. Do you want to be a f fighter? You want to be up there to really feel it. You want to feel it, man? Fucking right there on that I mean, I sat right below you and I felt it. I was good. Uh, were you on stage doing the wings? No, I yeah. tried to get him up there, but he wouldn't come up. He wouldn't go up? What kind of a fucking reporter are you? Yeah. <laughs> this dude went to war zones, bro. This guy's in Afghanistan right now. I didn't know stay with a was fucking reporter. He was like, stay with me. Do you want to be a fucking reporter? Up. You ask him questions, he doesn't. He knows the answer. But fuck you. I'm not going to tell you the answer. Figure the fucking answer out yourself. Why do you have to love this so much to hate it? He knows the answer to that. And that's a fan going, fuck you, I'm not going to tell you the answer to that. <laughs> he hates us. What the fuck do we do? Split the money, it's a fucking hundred million dollars or two hundred million. Who knows what it's going to be? I think it's going to be the biggest pay-per-view ever. Probably 2.6 million buys. Shut the fuck up and fight. This guy is a fucking sport killer. Is this live? Yeah, okay. I said, are you out of your mind? You're not going to fucking disrespect me. You three are fucking gone. It's the fucking dumbest thing that I have ever heard. People think, oh, they're doing this because they only want the commission, and that number doesn't mean anything. Right. That number means fucking everything. We might be the only bosses in the history of the fucking world that pay guys more than what the deal is. And when we jump out of our fucking seats and start screaming, holy shit, we're writing that dude a check. And when Christmas comes around, they're gonna write you a fucking Christmas bonus out of the fucking arena that night. Mm-hmm. The managers cut the fucking deal. Have you ever thought of releasing those discretionary bonuses? So, no. You know, because you know, you know how a lot of media actually get their outside. They love, they want that fucking money so bad. Right, let's say you get a million dollar bonus. People come crawling out of the fucking woodwork, man. Every uncle, cousin, nephew, people you didn't know you were related to, need money, everybody comes after you. None of you in this room have ever done a story where a guy has come out and said, yeah, here's what happened. I, I fought a great fight and I came out and this was my bonus. You know why? Because they don't want you to fucking know. <laughs> there, it drives them fucking nuts. But man, it kills the media. They want to fucking know that number so bad. We, we go in and we go into these negotiations the last fucking week sometimes. I hope we don't have to walk up those stairs. That's all I fucking know. Are you fucking shitting me? That's the replays? God damn. Diego Sanchez might be the nuttiest motherfucker on the planet. And he's happy, screaming, yeah. It's like when he's losing to Paulo Thiago, then he turns on the crazy switch. Yeah. Then it's like, fuck. He kind of fucked up my ring rust theory. You can buy the ones you want to buy, the ones you don't want to buy. Watch fucking American Idol. And boxing doesn't give you the fucking fights that we do. Nobody's fucking making you buy fight. Yeah. The quality of the card, we had two of the best uh, middleweights in the world. If I had some say in it, fucking Steve Mazzagatti would be up in the fucking North Pole somewhere roughing fights. And sometimes when I look at him, it looks like he's doing his fucking grocery list. So these internet guys are geniuses. These guys are hacking government websites. I'm not afraid of you. You don't scare me. You come in and you Twitter is a crazy fucking thing. All you ball busting fucker. I don't want him to hear me, he'll fucking smash me. I know a lot of you fuckers hope I do, but he's gonna make sure I know. My schedule is fucking insane. Damn, sounds like it. When do you sleep? The only time I get to sleep is during a John Fitch match. That guy fucking sucks. sucks. So, this is a big deal with EA. Are you excited, Tommy? I'm fucking psyched. Big deal, the guy sleeping next to you fucking stinks. I bought these fucking tickets for stuff up. We get down there, front row. I paid ten times what these motherfuckers cost to see Rage Against the Machine. And, uh... And they blocked off our fucking, they blocked off the seats and reissued the tickets. I don't even know what the fuck that means, but do you hear that in the background? That's Rage Against the Machine playing, okay? These guys have been broken up forever, now they're playing out here. 
reissued our tickets and we're walking around doing this instead of fucking watching the concert. So every one of you that buy tickets to our fucking event and dumb shit happens, I feel for you. That's why you gotta follow me on Twitter. So when dumb shit like this happens, I'll fix it for you. LA Rising, go fuck yourself. <laughs> It's not all f signing autographs and banging broads. I want to f kill Andy Wang. If I was Tito Ortiz, yeah, I don't want to fight in the UFC. I can't fucking beat anybody in the UFC. And Junie, what the f is wrong with you? That's called mixed martial arts. You fucking morons need to be in the kickboxing business if that's what you're selling. They're like, where's that fucking idiot? He has a press conference right now. He's like, man, stop stressing me the fuck out, idiot. You were late, not me. I will pull this car over. I will right pull now. this car over and beat the shit out of your big headed friend over here. Look at that guy just waved it through. Hurry, hurry! Yeah. This fucking moron's late for his own press conference. Look at Lorenzo. I'm gonna fucking kick him in his balls when he gets out of this car. Fight week, blog week, or whatever. <laughs> whatever he does. <laughs> guys are <laughs> made the biggest fuck up in the history of all sports I told him and he knows I fucking told him they thought they were too cool too slick and too fucking funny but what I, do you think when guys say that I think you're a fucking idiot who they choose to, to spend their life with it's none of your fucking business what you better be worried about is this dude's gonna come kick your fucking ass because he's not coming in the house to fuck you okay he's coming in the house <laughs> to kick your fucking ass it doesn't fucking make a difference to me one way or the other I said fuck you to everybody. And if you give a shit about that, you're you're some fucking closed-minded moron. You, anybody out there that thinks it's an issue, you're a closed-minded fucking moron. You probably live in some podunk nowhere fucking goofball town. Just my opinion. Called 24 fucking 7. Like Floyd's supposed to trust some guy who just headbutted him in the face like a fucking billy goat. Did Joe Cortez absolutely 100% destroyed that fight and ruined it he like a f billy goat he hit him in the face with his head but bro you f blew it you blew it this fucking guy can't fight and he got knocked out in 13 seconds by a guy who didn't win the ultimate fighter and who didn't win fights in the ufc i mean that from the bottom of my heart even all you fuckers on the underground that smash me every day i love you too what's up with you the worst referee in the history of fighting period I don't care if there was a fight back in the fucking old days, okay, in, in, in the Stone Age. I like George St. Pierre. I don't think George St. Pierre cheated, but I'm gonna fucking tell it like it is. The guy rubbed fucking Vaseline on. Mm -hmm. End of story. He's fucking out. They don't care about mixed martial arts. These fucking jerk-offs are in it for the money. Are these motherfuckers into mixed martial arts? This ain't Survivor and Vote him off. Beat him off. That didn't sound good, did it? Absolutely. <laughs> He is a fucking freak of nature. That's because the people at Pride are fucking retarded. Uh, that's about as smart as having fucking Sakuraba go out and fight every uh, monster on the fucking planet, your biggest Japanese star, and get him annihilated by every fucking heavyweight and light heavyweight in the, uh, in the world. Fucking geniuses. That it's like fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. Fucking and fucking motherfucker. Like a fucking fucker. Fucking 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 This shit's all fucking asshole. Fucking and fucking 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 But long time MMA guys know Chris Lytle's a tough motherfucker. One you And I think the people that are surrounding him right now are fucking morons. Whoever the asshole is that showed up at that television show with him and let him make that appearance, 
is a fucking idiot, and I'd like to beat him with a stick. Frankie Edgar was fucking awesome. It was fucking free. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to film the fucking 18. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm the fucking boss. He's not a guy I'm spending any fucking quality time with. As a Gotti, will fuck up any fight. Bro, you're not even famous yet. He didn't get any special privileges. He didn't get anything. And if he did, I'd fucking tell you. As a team, you guys should have been on his fat ass two weeks ago. That is pathetic. And he also says the UAE is fucking, uh, has big financial trouble. They're, they're worth a trillion fucking dollars. What do you not understand about that? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You know when you're around some bad guys. You know, you don't have to be a fucking guy to know when you're around some bad guys. And I'll throw you the fuck out of this gym so fast your head will spin. We pulled 7 million viewers with him. If he wants to use the phone, he can use the fucking phone. The bottom line is, you're out, bro. You mean to tell me that I can put some money down and I can see Babalu and Tito, both the guys that got knocked out twice by Chuck Liddell, fight each other? That's fucking entertaining. You know, Vince goes into fucking war mode, man. He's calling up Tyson, he's bringing this guy back, and The Rock might come back, and I love it, man. He, yeah, he's a fucking animal. Man, I like this guy. I've had breakfast with him, he's a good guy, you know, but he is a fucking animal, man. Fight again, and I have nothing personal against this guy. I don't even know him. Steve Mazzagotti's the worst referee in the history of fight so the fucking NFL. that's what fine the fuck has he done to ever back up anything he's saying he's never done anything i've been in this for fucking nine years this is a guy that might be good in 10 years he might not he might get knocked the fuck out next weekend the only fucking thing they have up there is him disagreeing with me Her dog so if you're not here to fucking build it then get the fuck out of the way get out of my way get out of my way if you're gonna fucking critique and you're gonna write this stuff, use facts. And, and a lot of people don't like it. Some people do. Too fucking bad. Care. I'm, I'm not out to make any new fucking friends. Oh, the media is too terrified of the fucking internet. There's no fucking doubt about it. He could go fight in Sambo every Thursday night if he wants to. To seriously call this guy the best in the world, let alone pound for pound, is insanity. I want to talk about the guys who do want to fight the best in the world. Period. A guy that doesn't want to, fuck him. I tried to bring them in because the fans want to see this fight. And the media keeps talking like this guy's the f***ing bastard. And I didn't wake up feeling, you know, feeling good like we can. I f knew. Go online and read it. And it was fucking brutal. I'm, I'm honest with you guys. Like, you're filming a reality show. How, how, how tough can it be? Poor you. This fucking show is hard, man. First season, we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. Let me go sit down with him before he goes to my fucking house. <laughs> Make sure he's gone. I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get hit with a fucking chair. <laughs> Come on, give me a fucking break. Man, you guys are fucking nuts. What, what else are they going to put on there that's going to pull 700,000? Answers? <laughs> they're, they're fucked. I heard your interview that you did, too, about where you said Rich Franklin was our poster boy. Yeah, that's why he fought Anderson Silva fucking twice. So, hey, go fuck yourself. I follow some celebrities and see what they do. Some of these guys are fucking horrendous, you know what I mean? I'm going to give you my quote of the day. Dude, I don't want your fucking quote of the day. As a Gotti, we'll fuck up any fight. Bro, you're not even famous yet. He didn't get any special privileges. He didn't get anything. And if he did, I'd fucking tell you. As a team, you guys should have been on his fat ass two weeks ago. That is Pathetic. And he also says the UAE is fucking, uh, has big financial trouble. They're, they're worth a trillion fucking dollars. What do you not understand about that? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You know when you're around some bad guys. You know, you don't have to be a fucking guy to know when you're around some bad guys. And I'll throw you the fuck out of this gym so fast your head will spin. We pulled 7 million viewers with him. If he wants to use the phone, he can use the fucking phone. The bottom line is, out, bro. You mean to tell me that I can put some money down and I can see Babalu and Tito, both the guys that got knocked out twice by Chuck Liddell, fight each other? That's fucking entertaining. <laughs>